Good morning. Oh, there we go. Got that lovely green flashing this morning. I'll just have to live with it, I guess. Oh. So welcome to morning prayers. For this Wednesday, December 9th, in the second week of Advent. And the theme for this morning's prayers from Celtic Prayers from Iona by John Philip Newell are um, <clears throat> for healing. Good morning, Carrie. Good morning, Terry. <clears throat> if I ascend to heaven, you are there, O God, and if I make my bed in hell, still you are with me. Psalm 139, 8. Let's be still and aware of God's presence within and all. And I'm reading from Psalm 82 this morning. God takes his stand in the divine assembly. In the midst of the gods, he renders judgment. How long will you judge dishonestly and show favor to the wicked? Do justice to the poor and the orphan. Vindicate the lowly and the wretched. Free the poor and the needy from the hand of the wicked. Save them. They do not know and do not grasp in darkness they walk about. All the earth's foundations totter. As for me, I had thought you were gods, and the sons of the Most High were you all. Yet indeed, like humans, you shall die, and like one of the princes, fall. Arise, O God, judge the earth, for you hold in a state all the nations. Psalm 82. Um, the poem I chose today is different. Um, a little bit whimsical, I suppose you could describe it. Um, this poem considers the posture of the body when writing, writing a letter, writing a note, writing a poem. The poet pays attention to hands when dancing, when speaking from the heart in prayer. This poem invites the listener to slow down to listen to the stories the body is telling by how it's held in small amounts. And the question is, when you're writing by hand, where's your other hand? What story is the space between your two hands, your dominant hand and non-dominant hand telling? Consider the hands that write this letter by Aracellus Guillerme. Consider the hands that write this letter. Left palm pressed flat against paper, as we have done before, over my heart, in peace or reverence to the sea. Some beautiful thing I saw once, felt once, snow falling like rice flung from the giant's wedding, or strangest of strange birds and consider then the right hand and how it is a fist within which a sharpened utensil, similar to the way I've held a spade, the horse's reins loping, the very fists I've seen from roads through LeMay and Estelle. For years I've come to sit this way, 
one hand open, one hand closed, like a farmer who puts down seeds and gathers up. Food will come from that farming. Or yes, it's the way I've danced with my left hand opened around a shoulder, my right hand closed inside of another hand, and how I pray. I pray for this to be my way. Sweet work alluded to in the body's position to its paper. Left hand, right hand. Like an open eye, an eye closed. One hand flat against the trap door. The other hand knocking, knocking. Consider the hands that write this letter by Aracela Scarme. So let's be, uh, reflect on our readings from the Psalms, from the poem. In the beginning, O God, you shaped my soul and set its weave. You formed my body and gave it breath. Renew me this day in the image of your love. O great God, grant me your light. O great God, grant me your grace. O great God, grant me your joy this day. And let me made, be made pure in the well of your health. O Christ of the road, of the wounded, O Christ of the tears of the broken, in me and with me, the needs of the world, grant me my prayers of loving and hoping, grant me my prayers of yearning and healing. Let's pray for the coming day and for the healing within and among people. God before me, God behind me, God above me, God beneath me. I, I on your path, O oh God, you, O oh God, on my way. In the twistings of the road, in the currents of the river, be with me this day. Be with me by night, be with me by day and by night. Amen. Well, it's the middle of the week. Rick and I usually have a Zoom coffee call with friends, uh, both near and far, if they're able to join us, if we're able to join them. But it's a pretty regular thing and, and we look forward to it each week. It's good to have something to look forward to each week. And then I think we're going to be busy in the kitchen cooking, it, cooking up some goodies to share with our kids and grandkids. So I hope that you have something fun to do today too. So this blessing is called for old age from John O'Donohue. And I don't think it's just for old age. I think it's for all of us. May the light of your soul mind you. May all your worry and anxiousness about your age be transfigured. May you be given wisdom for the eyes of your soul to see this as a time of gracious harvesting. May you have the passion to heal what has hurt you and allow it to come closer and become one with you. May you have great dignity, sense how free you are. Above all, may you be given the wonderful gift of meeting the eternal light that is within you. May you be blessed and may you have find a wonderful love in your life for yourself. 
in yourself for yourself. Words from John O'Donoghue. May you have a blessed day. Hi, Carrie. Good morning, Rick.